good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Our day is beginning, there's so much to do. Hey, my friends, look, we have a new letter this week. Do you know this letter? Is this letter in your name? Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. This is L. Our new letter of the week is L. Let's do the keyword sound real quick. You ready? I'm going to use my magic wand. It makes me so excited for new letters when I use my magic wand. Here we go. Ready? L. Lamp. Oh. Can you say it with me? L. Lamp. Oh. Let me hear you. L. Lamp. Oh, my tongue sticks out a little when I make that sound. Does your tongue stick out a little when you make that sound? Oh, it definitely needs to stick out a little when we're making that sound. Look, we have an uppercase L and a lowercase L. They look really similar. One line, one line. That's similar. What's different about them? Right, the uppercase has a lower line, just a small line at the bottom. But the lowercase l doesn't, just the uppercase l. You're so smart. You've been thinking about that, haven't you? Do you have an l in your name? I have an l in Palmer. Do you have an l in your name? Have you been practicing your name? We gotta spell our name every single day. Don't we? We gotta spell our names and write our names. Well, it's special if you have an L in your name this week because that's our, our letter this week. We get to manipulate L and write L and find things in our house that start with L all week long. It's so exciting. Let's go over our student rights. You remember those? Let's do them together. Student rights. You have the right to ask questions. You have the right to be treated with kindness. You have the right to share your ideas. And you have the right to have others listen to you and respect you. Rights. Something you are given or allowed to do. That's our rights in our classroom. You have the right to have that. Let's go over our, our objective. Learning letter letters and sounds. That's what we're doing. We're learning the letter L and we're learning its sound. Ooh, ooh. We will know our letters of the week by saying them, by finding them in text that we read, and by tracing the letters correctly as we develop our fine motor skills. We're going to meet this objective this week because you're going to do all those things. You're going to look in books to find L. You're going to look in your name and look for L's. You're going to write and trace L's all week long. And you're going to practice saying L, lamp, ool. Yeah, say it again. L, lamp, ool. You got it. Great job. Do you want to build it? I brought my magnets with me. Well, in order to build our L, we need one straight line. And in the lower case, we need one straight line. And what are we missing? What are we missing? That lower line at the bottom. Ta-da! I made an uppercase L and a lowercase L and an uppercase L and a lowercase L and an uppercase L and a lowercase L. L is a consonant. It's not a vowel. It's not one of our red letters. It's a consonant. L is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. L is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. O, 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 O. You got it. You practiced the L sound. Great job. That's have fun teaching. I love those guys. They, they make the best songs about letters. Wow, we built it. Hmm. So we've been thinking a lot about L and if it's in our name, but what about in our house? I want you to pause the video and I want you to find two things 
either in your kitchen or your bedroom or your dining room or your living room. Find two things in your house that start with the letter L that have the O sound in the beginning. You ready? Okay. Go ahead. Go look for them. I'll be here waiting. Did you find two things that begin with the O sound? Oh my goodness. Did you show your parent? Did you show your partner? Okay, tell me which ones you found. Tell me which ones you found. That's so exciting. Good job. I'm glad you looked around your whole house to find them. You could do that all week long. Keep looking for those L sounds in the beginning of the words. Did you find a lamp? Oh, I bet you did. Lamp starts with a O, doesn't it? Lamp. Oh, good job. Hmm, what are some other ones we could do? Oh, we can do lightning. Lightning starts with a O oh sound. Lightning, like a crash and a thunder and a O oh lightning. Good job. How about lemons? O, oh, O oh lemons. That, that's, that's the first sound you hear in lemons is O. Oh. Oh, good job, lemons. I like to put them in my, in my soda sometimes. Sometimes people put lemons in water. It's pretty tasty. Hmm, leaf, it's, it's gonna be fall soon. And you know what fall has? The leaves turn brown and red and yellow and orange and the leaves start falling down off the trees. Leaves, it's a leaf. A leaf. That begins with a O oh sound. You say it with me. O oh, leaf. Good job. What about legs? You have legs. I have legs. What's the first sound in legs? Let me hear you. O oh, O oh, legs. Good job. Let's do another one. Lips. got lips. I got lips too. That's the first sound in lips. You're right. Oh, oh, lips. The first sound in lips is oh, oh. You got it. Ooh. Have you seen Aladdin? Oh, a lamp. <laughs> you can rub that lamp and a genie will come out maybe. Just like an Aladdin. Lamp. The first sound in lamp is oh, oh. Let me hear you. Oh, oh, great job! How about lion? What's the first sound in lion? Oh, oh, lion, you got it! Rawr, right? Lions go rawr! Do you know what lion is in, in sign language? It's rawr. You can make that face if you want to. This is lion. Where you take your hand and Pull back like you got a mane, like a lion. Lion. Oh, oh, good job. That's silly. I love using sign language. It makes me feel so, so excited to learn. Let's see what the next one. Oh, a lizard. You see, it's got a blue tail. It's just like the ones I have outside my house. A lizard. What's the first sound in lizard? Oh, oh, good job. You said it. Oh, oh. Oh, it's a ladybug. Do you like ladybugs? I do too. I like that they're red and they're, they tickle you. They're very gentle. What's the first sound of ladybug? Let me hear you. Oh, oh, lady, ladybug. You got it, that's a compound word. Okay, two more. Lunch, oh. We like it when we're at school and it's lunchtime. We get to talk to all of our friends and relax a little and have a little brain break. Lunch. What's the first sound in lunch? Let me hear you. Oh, oh, lunch. You got it. And the last one. Oh, this is Joshua's favorite. Legos. Do you play with Legos at home? What's the first sound in Legos? Let me hear you. Oh, oh, Legos. You got it. Great job, my friends. We made a big list of words that begin with the L sound. I like that we're making lists together and we're really thinking about 
things that we know that start with the L sound. The ool, ool sound. Good job, my friends. I have a book for you today. Let's go over print concepts, okay? What's this part of the book? Yeah, you're right. It's the front of the book. What about this one? What's this part of the book? Yeah, the back. You're so good at this. What's this part? You remember? The side or the spine. I know, that one's a tricky one. Good job, my friends. And what do you think this is at the top? What's this on the front cover? Let me hear you. Did you say title? You're right, it's the title. The big letters on the front are called the title. The lamb who loved to laugh. This is gonna be a cute book. The, by Carol Martin. Carol Martin is the author. What does the author do? The author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi ho the dario. The author writes the words. Hmm. Illustrated by Hans Wilhelm. Hmm. What does he do? You got it. The illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. Hi ho the dario. The illustrator draws the pictures. Lulu the, the lamb loved to laugh. Lulu laughed at Ladybug because she was so little, little. There's lots of L words in here. Listen for them. Lulu laughed at Llama when he spilled pink lemonade at lunchtime. Oh no, Lamb's not being very nice. Lulu laughed at Lizard when she fell off the ladder. Oh. Lamb's not being a very nice friend, is she? Lulu laughed at Leopard's Lavender Leopard Leotard. L That's a tough sentence to say. Let's do it again. Lulu laughed at Leopard's Lavender Leotard. <gasps> Was that nice, a lamb? That's not nice at all. That was really not nice. The other animals did not like Lulu laughing. It made them feel low. That means it made them feel sad. Someday Lulu will learn, said Leopard. Lulu walked along, laughing loudly. <laughs> she bumped into Lion, who was licking a lollipop. Oh no, the lollipop got stuck in Lion's mane. In Lion's hair, in his mane. Uh-oh. Lulu laughed at Lion. She laughed and laughed and laughed. <gasps> How did Lion feel? Lion did not like that at all. Lion looked angry. He roared at Lulu. <gasps> Uh-oh. Lion roared so loud, he made Lulu fall right into the lake. She fell into the lake. Look. You see her? She fell right into the lake. Uh-oh. Ladybug, llama, lizard, leopard, and lion laughed at Lulu. Uh-oh. They're laughing back at her now because she wasn't being very nice. Lulu didn't like being laughed at. Not one bit. Not one little bit. From now on, I will laugh less. Lulu promised her friends. At last, Lulu has learned her lesson, said Ladybug. She understands what it feels like to be laughed at because she was laughed at and she didn't feel so good. Lulu still likes to laugh at her friends. What did the lamb eat for lunch? <laughs> a ba lonely sandwich. <laughs> but only when they tell her a funny joke. Do you tell jokes too? Oh, Josh likes telling silly jokes too. I think jokes are fun to laugh at, and it doesn't make anybody feel sad. How many things can you find that begin with the letter L? How many things can you find? I see lamb, I see ladybug, I see lion, I see lemons. What else can you find? Great job, my friends. 
Pause it if you need more time, okay? Let's do our L tier. L is for lamb and licorice stick. L is for lots of lollipops to lick. L is for lion and ladybug. L is for leaf and lemonade in a jug. Hooray for L, big and small. The loveliest, luckiest letter of all. Great job, my friends. We got to read our L book today. There were so many words in there that I heard that started with the L sound. Did you see some? Great job, my friends. Let's practice writing our L's. Can you get something to write with? And then we can do it together. Pause the video if you need some time to get something to write with. I'm gonna use my dry erase marker on my dry erase board. Okay, play this when you're ready. The first thing we gotta do is our uppercase L. Kind of like a line straight down. We're gonna go from the sun line to the grass line, then stop. Then on the grass line, we have to go across. Like that. Does it look the same as my uppercase L? It sure does. We did it. We made an uppercase L together and it took two lines. That's pretty easy. Don't you think so? Let's do our lowercase one now. And that one we only need one line for, so it should be super simple. Let's go down from the sun line and stop at the grass line because this is not a basement letter. This is not an in the ground, in the dirt kind of letter. We're done. That's it. The lowercase L is just a line straight down. Great job, my friends. Do you want to practice it in a fun way? Oh, I've got something for you today. Are you ready? Oh, I know you are. Okay. All right, here it comes. Hey, my friends, you just learned a lot about letter L today. Now we need to do what? Practice writing it ourselves. There's so much you could do at home, my friends. There's so much you can do to develop those fine motor skills. That's the little muscles in your fingers so that you can be better writers. Guess what I have today? I've got my favorite, shaving cream. If you've got shaving cream at home too, pause the video and join me. Okay, it can be a little messy sometimes, but at least it's soap. Here we go. Let's do it together. Oh, oh, did you get yours on your plate too? And what do we do next? We smash it and we roll it around the plate and get a nice even amount. Then we take our finger, just one, the messy one, and we go. We're making L's, right? Let's do an uppercase L first. We're gonna go down and over. Just a little bit over. That's our uppercase L. Oh, oh. The uppercase L says oh, oh. Let's do a lowercase L too. It's just like a one. A line straight down and then we're done. Look, it's just like our one. That's our lowercase L. And it also makes what sound? Oh, oh, you got it, my friends. You can do this as many times as you want. And you can play in it. This is how we develop our fine motor skills. And there's tons of things at home for you to play in, to explore, and increase your fine motor skills. I just love shaving cream. It's so much fun. Down and over just a little bit. And then all the way down again to make a lowercase l. Do you see? Did you do yours just like mine? Practice makes perfect. If yours doesn't look like mine yet, that's okay. A little bit more practice and you'll get there, my friends. I'm so proud of you. Practice writing your l's all week long. And send me a message with some pictures in it so I can see what you're doing. I want to see how you are making these l's just like me. Good job, my friends. I'm so proud of you. Welcome back. Did you have fun making your L? Oh, I know you did. I hope you use something around your house. And I hope you practice every single day of this week. Because it's important to get our fine motor skills working, right? 
we can be better, better writers if we keep using those little muscles in our fingers to develop those fine motor skills, right? You're going to do it with me? Oh, I know you can. I can't wait to see your progress. Let's review what we've learned. So we, we know we've learned a new letter this week, L. And we know it has a sound, O. Oh. And we're going to be looking around our house for L's. We're going to be looking in our name for L's. We're going to be looking in books for L's. We're going to be trying to find things that start with the letter L, O, oh, right? Around our house or outside on a walk when you go with your parents. Remember, don't leave your house without a parent, okay? Good job, my friends. You know a house and how to be safe. Let's review. L, lamp, O. Oh. Say it. L, lamp, O. Oh. Say it. L, lamp, O. Oh. Say it. L, lamp, O. Oh. Uppercase L and a lowercase L and a uppercase L and a lowercase L. L is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. L is a consonant, a letter in the alphabet. O, 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 O. You got it. Now you know that this is an L. Every time you look at a book, you'll know that that's an L. So when you're sounding out words you don't know and you see an L, you're going to say, oh, and you're going to blend it with the other letters there. Great job. You're going to be amazing readers and writers when we're done. I'm so proud of you, my friend. Have a great week and I'll see you next time. Hey, my friends, thanks for being a part of my lesson today. If you like this lesson, hit the thumbs up button at the bottom. That's the like button, okay? It's sure to make me smile. Hey, parents, you wanna get your child ready for school? You don't want them to fall behind in school? Hit the subscribe button at the bottom. And in the description, you can also find my Facebook page. If you have any questions or comments or concerns about these videos, I'm more than happy to answer any of them. So hit the Facebook page and connect with me. I'd love to hear what you have to say about these videos. And I'm always going to try to make them better and better. Also, you can hit the bell at the bottom so you don't miss any of the new videos. If you want to help donate to my cause, if you want to continue to see more free videos on YouTube for tons of families who need this, make sure you click the Patreon page and check out how you can donate and how you can help. Anything makes a difference. Huge shout out to my patrons. Thank you so much for donating to this cause. It's allowing us to create even higher quality videos, more free videos for families like you who need this resource at home. We are utilizing kindergarten skill maps along with Common Core standards to make these lessons. And you are helping make a difference in children's lives all around the US. Thank you for everything that you've been doing.